Reporting to you live from the Winter Olympic Cauldron in Vancouver, BC. It's live from last week, episode 73. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, on my last day in Vancouver, after spending the past four days here, I'm at the Canada Place slash Vancouver Convention Center area, checking out the beautiful seaplanes on the water, taking off to their different destinations, visiting and touching the big blue teardrop here in Vancouver, checking out the digital Orca art installation here, and giving it a nice, big, lovable bear hug. And also, last but not least, checking out the 2010 Winter Olympic Cauldron. But yeah, before I fly out later tonight, let's see what other stops I have planned for today. So after having this gem of a meal, a cup of noodles for dinner last night, then saying bye to my accommodations, the Canby Hostel, and stopping by the Vancouver Public Library, I'm at one of my favorite spots that I always come to whenever I'm in Vancouver. Chapa Dog. So looking at the extensive menu that they have here, I figured out that this time while I'm here, I would order the Yakiniku Yakisoba. Which, as you guys can tell, has grilled barbecue beef on top. How do I even eat this thing? Five, four, three, two, one. And this baby has Arabiki pork sausage, yakisoba, which are fried noodles, seaweed powder, and some red pickled ginger. Pretty good. Pretty good. And of course, while you're here, you gotta get the shaked fries. And so I ordered the butter and shoyu option. And man, do I ever miss these fries. So good. Damn, that Japa dog was delicious. Now it's time to head to the next stop of the day to go to Vancouver's Science World. Man, that was a fun time at Science World. But after taking the transit to travel back downtown and buying a $50 million Lotto Max lottery ticket, got my BC Lotto Lotto Max ticket. Woohoo, let's go. And until I win that big jackpot, I'm still doing some Uber Eats deliveries here in Vancouver. Stop by the local Burger King here to pick up some food. And I'm about to deliver it to one of my friends from Toronto. Fellow Torontonian, Chris! Yo! Uber Eats delivery yes, in Vancouver! Yes, stars, yo, dude. yo, extra delivery fees, extra <laughs> delivery fees. How you doing, man? I'm great, man. How are you? Good oh, to see you, bro. Nice to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah. Got it. So after taking the SkyTrain to drop off Chris over at YVR and saying farewell to him, Yo, we're here at the airport dropping Chris off at YBR before he goes. Mm -hmm. um, I'll see you in Toronto, bud. See you in Toronto, man. Oh. Easy. Later. Later. I realized that since I checked in a little bit early, I was able to go through security with him and with him being late, make sure that he was dropped off at his gate on time. Oh no, they're going to close the gate on Chris. Later, Later, man. Go, 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 go,
and although I went into the airport more than six hours before my flight was scheduled, I chilled and relaxed in the terminal, editing live from last week footage while I wait for my 10.30 flight. But before we sign off for the night, I have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my high school friends back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Fallon. Happy birthday, Fallon. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great birthday this year. But yeah, guys, it's boarding time for my flight now. So we're getting on the plane, and I'll see you guys back in Toronto. So it's 6.30 in the morning, bright and early here at Pearson. Just deboarded my flight with Flair. About to take the one and a half hour journey with the TTC. And now I'm heading home, back to Scarborough. But before I go home to edit some live from last week video and catch up on some sleep before I go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With my first birthday shout out being a belated one, going out to a friend formerly from Wysik. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Samantha. Happy birthday, Samantha. Next, we have a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball friend of mine who also plays soccer on his spare time and who I can't wait to play with and against on the beach this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Brent. Happy birthday, Brent. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my high school friends who I've always remembered being one of the most physically strongest people that I know. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. And last but not least, we've got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering was a pretty good hockey player and a pretty talented race car driver back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bradburn. Happy birthday, Bradburn. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that are celebrating their birthdays today and a belated one are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. First of all today, I want to wish all my colleagues and fellow nurses a happy nursing week. And although we've had a pretty tough time over the past couple of years, the perseverance and dedication to the healthcare field that you guys are providing is definitely not going unnoticed. And I want you all to know that I appreciate all that you guys do for the health of the public. With that being said, when I got home from the airport yesterday morning, there was a nice little surprise on the table that I saw of which the wife was proud to show off to me. Congratulations to my wife for winning this Daisy Foundation Award and for all the hard work and dedication that you have shown for your nursing career. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm so proud of you. And once again, congratulations on your award. And as for my quick celebration for Nursing Week, I celebrated the fact that my 10 day stretch of doing daily rapid antigen tests were finally coming to a close testing negative each and every time. I was also finally able to sleep in my own bedroom for the first time since a couple of weeks ago when I had that close exposure to COVID. And my other celebration was celebrating that I was able to go back to work. The only thing is, after getting back from a quick vacay in Vancouver, I was hit with reality when I got into work and found out that we were working short staffed. Three staff taking care of 24 unwell patients, when usually we have four to five staff on nights, not being able to go on a true designated break, and having to quickly scarf down my dinner in a room that is off the unit in the limited time I had in between call bells. But yeah, I'm just hoping that tonight's night shift will be adequately staffed, especially considering just how busy it was last night. With me and my colleagues running around for my shift, especially after getting into work half an hour early, and leaving work more than an hour after our shift was supposed to be over. Ah, anyways, before I go into work again tonight for tonight's night shift, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with a childhood friend of mine that I used to go to elementary school and high school with, and the memorable parties that we used to have on Hancock and Bloor. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. And next, we have another birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends with whom I met at Woodbine Beach and who I'm excited to play with again this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. I'm hoping that all my people that are having the birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So I just want to wish everybody today a happy Friday the 13th. 
a day on the calendar where people that are superstitious look forward to to not bring bad luck onto themselves. But keeping in the theme of this, last night I had yet another busy night shift. As a matter of fact, so busy and stressful that after work, I went to my local no frills and coped with the shift by doing some retail therapy. But anyways, do you guys remember this unlucky scene from a live from last week episode in the past? But unfortunately, when I went to try to work the oven, I pushed the temperature button a little bit too hard and the button stopped working. So when I informed the wife of this, she gently let me know that the oven was telling us that it was time to finally replace it. Well, today, after getting this much sleep post night shift, the wife and I went to our local Home Depot and got a start on doing some more research about getting a new oven slash stove. And also today, since having only one off day, in between a set of four night shifts, the wife and I decided to cash in our rain check of that date that I proposed a couple weeks back. May I please take you out on a date? Sure. On a formal date? Yay! And today we're headed to Tatami Sushi to celebrate my half birthday, her receiving that award for nursing week, and also the wife's successful pass of the G2 road exam. Anyways, now we're moving on to some birthday greetings that we have for you guys today. First, I have a birthday shout out to one of my classmates back in high school. This is a birthday greeting to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ashley. Next, a birthday shout out to a friend that I made back when I was working at BVG. And this birthday shout out is to you, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. And last but not least, we have a birthday shout out to one of my friends back in university with whom I played beach volleyball with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Rochelle. Happy birthday, Rochelle. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Hey, vibe. This is a quick cheers for our belated date night. A uh, happy half birthday to me. Uh, you winning that award for nursing week. And you getting your G2 license. <laughs> cheers. Kompai. <laughs> So while we're on the topic of sushi, I really can't believe that it's already been almost a week since I was in Vancouver, went to TNT, then bought some sushi to take with me to eat at the Richmond Night Market. And now, recalling what I said while I was there, and I'm sorry in advance guys, but y'all have to wait until next week's episode to see the music video from the Richmond Night Market. Here is the music video of that experience. Guys, that was such a great experience being in that type of food festival atmosphere once again. But speaking of good times, the wife after parking made a quick video call to me after making her first ever solo trip with the Mini now that she has her G2. And as happy as I am for her, as well as before I go in for my first my set of two night shifts tonight, we also have a couple of other things to celebrate today in the form of birthday greetings with the first one of the day going out to one of my beach volleyball friends, of whom I've played with in a couple of summer tournaments in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. And next, we have a birthday greeting to a former coworker of mine, who I always used to greet with a DNCE song. But yeah, for today, I'm hoping that you enjoy your birthday cake by the ocean. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bucky. 
Happy birthday, Bucky. I'm hoping that all y'all that have your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, although the weather has been like this for the past week, I think that we can safely say that it is officially summer. With the weather outside today being a sunny 25 degrees, and my thermostat in the condo reading a crazy 32.5 degrees Celsius. Evidently, the building had sent an email before May 6th when they turned off the heating, but we're still a couple of days away from the air conditioning turning on mid next week. So I'm guessing before the AC turns on, I better get ready for a couple more hot days in the condo. But anyways, last night during my night shift, one of my coworker friends, Ruby, to boost the morale of the staff and encourage team building activities, always asks and offers if we want to get some delivery. And unfortunately, since I always bring my own lunch to work, I always disappoint her and say, I don't want to order. But last night, it must have been a special day. Because after years and years of her always asking if I want to order in, and me always saying, sorry, no thanks, she was proposing that we were going to order some bubble tea, and I finally gave in. So last night, I ordered a large taro slushy bubble tea, with of course, grass jellies and tapioca, and enjoyed that delicious bubble tea from Coco in our break room. And this is what I thought of it. Good. So yeah, thanks again Ruby for your constant persistence in asking if we want to order in and helping build morale as well as getting the team together to order bubble tea last night. Anyways, I know you guys are seeing me sweat at this time because after work, going and attending the Sunday Mass at Our Lady of Lords, the place where me and my wife got married almost six months ago, I got home, took a quick four hour nap, and now I'm on the stationary bike doing a quick session before I go into work tonight. But I'm thinking this is probably my first bike session since I traveled all the way to Vancouver. Where, as a matter of fact, while I was riding around, I ran into some of this Vancouver wildlife. And it actually got me thinking. One of my friends who visited Vancouver not too long ago posted a picture of where they were at hanging out with some birds while they were riding around there. So I was thinking, let's go on an adventure to try to find this bird. Hmm, where's that big bird? Where's that big pigeon? And guess what, Crystal? I have found it. Wow, on my ride around, I finally found that bird. But yeah, guys, I can't believe it's already been a week since I shot this scene from last week's episode. So tune in to next week's episode to see the finished product of how my day went riding around Vancouver with my Moby bike. So without further ado, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, here is that music video from that Moby Bike Adventure in Vancouver that I promised you guys about from last week. So yeah, I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed that music video from last week's bike adventure in Vancouver. And I'll just catch up with you guys again after my work tomorrow. So I don't know if you guys remember the May Blue Jays lead off pack that I bought last month. 
after I looked on the Blue Jays website for some tickets, I was able to take advantage of one of their promotions of the May leadoff pack. But finally, after being on self-isolation earlier in the month and working while the Jays had their homestand a couple weeks back, I'm making my way right now to downtown Toronto and I'll be finally able to use the tickets from my May Blue Jays leadoff pack halfway through the month of May starting today. So after looking at all the long lineups to get into the dome, mainly because there's a stadium giveaway today, a Jose Barrios blue powder jersey, I met up with my friend Allison, who you guys remember I went snowboarding with a couple of months back, and we lined up to see if we could be one of the first 15,000 to get a jersey at this game. And what do you know, we were able to get into the game and get our powder blue Jose Barrios Blue Jays jerseys. We then went to the home run section behind the Blue Jays bullpen, and for me, catching batting practice for the first time in years, we stayed here for the pregame and did a quick video shoot with our new jerseys. We then went to the closest Mary Brown's and got a Mary Brown's original chicken sandwich burger and also tried their other special Nashville chicken sandwich burger. With the first original chicken burger tasting pretty all right, but I think the second one, the Nashville chicken burger, was more of my favorite. But anyways, after checking out our seats, I'm going to go back into the stadium and check out the rest of the game. And I'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.